Good morning. It's a big day, huh? Uh, the logistical challenges of a big city are kicking in in full force. First of all, we have to do the finishing touches on securing the van. We have to pop up the divider wall. We haven't done that yet. We have a few things up in the attic. We got to tuck in the garage, lock it all up, and then we need a car wash. Now, the problem with the car washes in the big city is they're all for little cars. They don't do us. So we're going to have to go on the outer skirts, find a truck wash, get the car clean. Then we got to come back here in this zoo and find traffic because we got to be at the port parking. <laughs> Because we got to be at the port at 9 a.m. and Chaos. Well, it's a, over an hour drive out of there. So we got to figure out those logistics. And right now we're about 45 minutes from where we parked the van. So yes. anyway, so, we're going to go try to get this thing figured out. But tomorrow we are scheduled to drop the van off at, at the port. At the port. So. Oh, big day, guys. Right now, waiting on an Uber. All right, there's our security wall that we had made in Pelotas. I'm gonna explain that a little bit better in a few minutes once we get this work done, but we have packed everything nice and tight in the back of the van. We've done an inventory because it's required by Customs and Grimaldi, which is our big shipping company. Nothing is in the attic and anything that's in the cab is secured away including floor mats everything we'll explain that in a few minutes but if you don't know much about shipping there's always a big fear of stuff getting stolen from your van you ready to try to put that wall in kurt ready to do it just clean it out and get it in there in the morning we give our van away for a whole month if things go well I gotta tell y'all, the butterflies are kicking in big time for me. It's a big deal, guys, to ship your van to Europe. This wall, this is the bottom half, it goes in in two pieces, is metal. Now we got lucky, and the motorhome building guys, they're in Pelotas, Micon and them, had just taken out a divider wall from a cargo van and they were able to modify it to fit ours it's the perfect security wall you ready for the next one let's do it do i need When we're working in such a small space, I've learned that it's best just to stay out of the way unless Kurt asks me for help. Because there's just not room for two people up there. So we'll see how I can help without getting in his way. I can't hold the door. Turns out my butt's a good wall holder. <laughs> Sometimes having a big booty's good, right, Kurt? <laughs> you got a big butt, I cannot lie. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting excited. I'm nervous, but it's all coming together, and this has been months and months of preparation. And um, as scary as it is to drop your house off at customs and just kind of give it away, everything you own except for a couple of suitcases of clothes, the excitement's kicking in at the same time. I got serious mixed emotions going on. Whew, it's almost time for Europe. I think our wall is pretty awesome. Kurt's got all the screws in there. 
whoever's driving this thing on and off in the ship in the front stands no chance of getting in the back right Curdy? They have to break some stuff to get in here and they'd have to try pretty hard. So we've done everything we can do. About this wall. The good thing is about it's it's metal. It fits up top so we can store it away and we can use it on the next move too. So definitely a good investment for us. Now one thing if you haven't been following us since we crossed from Panama to Colombia, our van is too tall to fit into a container and go on a cargo ship. So we have to ship something called roll on, roll off, or row row, R-O-R-O -O for short. And what that means is when we turn the van over to customs, we have to give them the keys because somebody for the shipping company a, will get in our van and drive it into the belly of the giant ship. And then when it gets where it's going, they will drive it off and that's when we will pick it up at customs in Europe. So they actually have a key to the van. And there is a bad reputation for people that have to ship this way that things get stolen out of your van. That is why we have built this wall. They will be able to get into the cab. They will not be able to get into the house part of the van. Uh, and we have special locks that go on the sliding door and the back doors. So if they want to get into the house part of our van or the garage, they really need to have some advanced tools which is not likely uh, for ship workers and dock workers that are coming and going and have to do things quick and worry about carrying stuff in and out. So the, the theft that happens on row row shipping tends to be more of uh, when it's easy for them to grab. If they can just bust through a little wood wall or if someone doesn't build the wall. So we hope we've done everything we can. I hope that explains why we had to do a little bit of extra security we're just too tall for a container. Did I forget anything, Kurt? Nope, everybody loves an easy smash. All the criminals love an easy smash and grab. So that's what we try to prevent, easy smash and grab. So, all right, now we have to go find a car wash big enough to wash this thing, but because customs requires that everything be clean and no dirt. So time for the van to get its last bath in South America. Right, guys the finishing touches on the tires and on the van you can see right here she's shining them up <laughs> look in here all cleaned up and ready to go on the boat now we're back to Buenos Aires to try to find back to the big city to try to find our parking space wish us luck it's no easy task
today's the day. I have been planning for this for six months. I brought Kurt into the loop about three months ago. I over plan, it's no secret, but this is a big one, guys. A lot of logistics, a lot of things had to fall into place. And we are on our way right now to the port here in Buenos Aires to drop our house off, give it to customs, turn it over to the shipping line so that it can take a four week journey across the ocean to Europe. It's rare that we leave our van alone unattended. Normally one of us is in or around it. This is definitely a nervous yeah. time yeah. for us. And it's the last step in a big, complicated plan. It is a Friday morning and there is a lot of school traffic. Oh, Kurt, cancel for a minute. <laughs> yeah, you do. It's a tight squeeze there in the traffic. We're back. <laughs> As I was saying, it is a Friday morning and traffic is already a little bit crazy. We are headed to the port. All week here in Buenos Aires has been focused on getting the van ready to drop off at customs. Today is the last step. Uh, hopefully it goes smooth. We meet our shipping agent an hour outside of town at the port. The port is called Zarate. And uh, hopefully she walks us through the process and it goes smooth. But this is the last step in a complicated couple of months, huh, Curdy? This is a big one. All right, Kurt has to focus because he's maneuvering traffic in a gigantic city. We'll be back as we get closer to the port. We're almost to the port. Definitely getting a little nervous slash excited. A lot of mixed emotions going on. Giving away the house is a big deal. But I wanted to explain a couple of things. When you're getting ready to ship your van, you reach out to a shipping agent that kind of coordinates and handles the whole thing. We do that with Martin through IVSS, International Vehicle Shipping something or another. A uh, very friendly website uh, where you can get quotes and stuff like that. So once you tell him you're ready to ship, the process starts. Now, you never see Martin. Uh, you probably never talk to Martin. It's mostly emails and internet based. But he then sets you up with on the ground shipping agents in the country you're leaving and the country you're going to. So we are about to meet for the second time, we already met him once this week at the office, the on ground Buenos Aires shipping agent that will help us handle the logistics and get us through this process. Now we met Daniel at the office the other day and handled a bunch of the paperwork. Today at the actual port, we are meeting a lady named Roxanne. And when we did this up in Panama and Colombia, it was extremely, almost necessary to have someone walk you through the process so you know where to go and what to do. So let's hope it goes as smooth as it did in Panama. And then when we get to Belgium, we'll have a completely different on the ground shipping agent to help us at the port there. So there are a lot of spokes in the wheel to make this thing go round and round. Yeah, but what Snow didn't mention is last time in Panama, oh. the ship was delayed. and Weeks so and weeks and weeks. We, yeah, we were delayed on both ends. Yeah, so. nobody's fault. The ship broke down, so it was the <laughs> ship's fault. But we're hoping for a smooth and on-schedule shipping process this time. So we're almost there, guys. Almost there. It says go here, but we, I mean, 
Maybe we. Maybe we go in. That's where we're going. Exacto Principal DV. That's where we're going. We are at the port, waiting to go in at the terminal. This may be the last thing we can show you. We're not sure. We'll show you as much as we can. But we're waiting to go in right now. We have an appointment, so we're waiting. All right, it's definitely much, much stricter security to get into this port. More confusing. A sure. lot more confusing. There's a little bit of drama going on with our on-the-ground shipping agent. We'll explain that later. But I wanted to show you our pretty purple vest, which means we're visitors, and they gave us these steel-toed cap covers for our shoes. But this is going to be it for the video, and guys, and uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. Hopefully, everything will go smooth. I don't know what to do, Curdy. All right, so what has happened, guys, is we were supposed to meet Daniel, our original shipping agent, to do this process. Last night at about 9 o'clock, he messaged me to tell me he couldn't be here. A lady named Roxana would be here. So I messaged with Roxana last night, and then when we got here this morning, it isn't Roxana, it is Rosario, who is apparently Roxana's daughter, who does not speak a lick of English. So things are off to a little bit of a hectic start. Uh, we've been ushered through security, but now we literally don't know where to go. And we're just driving in this high security closed in port, um, looking for Rosario. And that's where we're at guys. So looks like maybe we can pull right over here and park and figure out what to do. By the way, I ask, I'm not sure I am. What are we waiting for? When does it ever turn out the way you planned? I'm not sure that it can. I can tell you that on every road that led us here was paved. You say very well then. Not every mountain we'd move would look the same, and so we'll never look the same. Are you ready? In a way it feels you've only just begun And we're not the only ones Farewell To all we've held on to Been treating me well But it's time for some Things for all of our days. Farewell to all we've held on to. Been treating me well, but it's time for something new. Economy of all we've known, worth its weight in the gold we'll spend in all of our tomorrow.
it's done and it didn't go anything like we expected and to be honest with you it was a bit of an emotional day um, first off Daniel the agent that we met that you guys met earlier uh, was supposed to come out here meet us and had rings for transportation and all that so we got out here well he messaged us and said we're gonna meet somebody else and it turns out we meeted some met somebody even different Rosario Rosario Rosario. She was a sweetheart and helped us a lot. But at the end of the day, when we got the van, all the searches and all the stuff done, they told us they needed the key to the back area, which we'd worked hard to secure and lock up. Now, maybe you guys don't know this, but our van is going to be out there in the parking lot or on a boat or somewhere else in another port for over a four weeks. And so we're really at the mercy of them and when we give them the key they have full access to our entire van and all of our stuff we tried to explain it to them and really this was a total curveball we had locked everything up and prepared to secure it because of protocols that we researched protocols we've talked about with the agents and so in fact when we talked to them they said okay everything's good you did a good job so we get out here and now we have to give them the keys well, we've already paid a lot of money and we can't just back out of it unless we just want to drive off and forego our money so we were really in a pickle and now we're sitting here nervous and terrified because we just turned over our van and they have full access to everything that's inside there so it's a really nervous time guys and uh, and then to top it all off uh, we didn't have transportation so had we known that obviously you guys know us we would have arranged for transportation instead we get out here after the fact stranded out here and again fortunately the sweet girl here was helping us uh, they got us a cab they met us with some sodas and some El A's and you know helped us out so we're not stranded or whatever but in any event it's kind of been a rough day for us, which also means it's gonna be kind of a rough 30 days until we're able to pick our van up and make sure everything's okay, guys. So to be honest with you, we're kind of a nervous wreck and these things are always sort of nervous times, but yeah, this one went way down, way different than we anticipated. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys!